we have a major update regarding Dogecoin and Bitcoin miners, and that comes as we're seeing quote unquote Giga Chad, Michael Saylor. That was his nickname dubbed by Elon Musk. Elon Musk just replies well to a tweet. We'll look at that in one second, right as we go live, he does that. So it's interesting to see what he's saying, but MicroStrategy CEO, Michael Saylor says Bitcoin is not the only cryptocurrency that can thrive finally for the first time that I've seen him doing at least, he's coming around to the idea of other cryptocurrencies being successful. You could even say for a time that Michael Saylor was the face of the Dogecoin Maxi movement. Dogecoin Maxis being people who only see a path forward for, I mean, not, not Dogecoin, Bitcoin Maxi movement. Bitcoin Maxis being the people who only see a path forward for Bitcoin and no other cryptocurrencies, which I think is definitely short-sighted because it's failing to realize the use case of other cryptos out there. There can be multiple that are successful and there will be, there needs to be. There's multiple different problems that need to be solved. But MicroStrategy CEO, Michael Saylor, it's awesome to see him doing that. MicroStrategy as well has gone up a decent amount. I've continued to like Michael Saylor overall for some of the positive things he has done for cryptocurrency, even though I disagreed with him strongly on some of his anti-other currency, other cryptocurrency statements. I do like him overall and I appreciate and respect him more now that he's coming out and saying the truth about cryptocurrency altogether. And that comes as we are seeing, though, unfortunately, a slightly bad day for cryptocurrency altogether, going down approximately 1.8%. Every cryptocurrency fell a decent amount at the top here. Dogecoin down 3%, XRP down 2%. Binance coin down 3%, Cardano down 1%, Ethereum down 2%, and Bitcoin is actually proving to be right now one of the most stable options at the top, which I think bodes well for it's moving forward into the future. Bitcoin is proving that it does have stability at the very least, even though its upside may not be as high as a lot of the other altcoins. In fact, it's definitely not. It does have that stability factor. And I think because of that, it's going to continue to be an investment that a lot of people, especially who are retired, are choosing to come into. And that will open the door as well to a lot of other altcoins. But here's the big minor update. China is kicking out more than half of the world's Bitcoin miners, and a whole lot of them could be heading to Texas. Texas is one of the places that we're going to see a lot of mining going to, and not just Texas. Some people are saying that Canada is actually going to get some of that as well. I don't fully agree, but nonetheless, some people are attempting to make that happen as we are seeing big facilities like this being built in Texas and Canada and places in the United States that are not Texas as well. Big, big, big updates in, in terms of that. And the reason why Texas is being chose, chosen as one of the places is because of its solar panel potential and solar energy potential. As you see this map right here, you can see Texas is very much in the red there, at least the left part of Texas. The other part of Texas, not so much. It's a little bit harder to be using solar panel there, but solar panel is one of the big ones we're going to be looking at as a place where Bitcoin miners are going to start popping up and Dogecoin as well as seeing some of that similar stuff happening as Dogecoin miners start to move to different places in the United States where the laws are more favorable toward cryptocurrency, unlike in China, where they are to some degree banning it in different sectors of the economy. It's not fully banned there, but it is banned in a number of places. This right here as well is another thing people need to think about, wind capacity, and it shows the map of wind capacity in the middle of the United States. Places like Oklahoma, Nebraska are going to see a ton of wind energy, Bitcoin and Dogecoin mining that are coming soon. I don't think it's it's fair to say that any one state is going to be the main recipient of this new mining coming in. It's going to be really spread out. And that right there is a great indication of that. As we see more people coming in with some, some, some interesting comments, let's get Doge to $20. I bought to AMP Someone, some, some people are arguing about AMP in the comment section there. And someone said to the moon, interesting. You got some, got some good chats hopefully coming in. Some entertainingness in the comment section. But it's going to be exciting as well to see countries and states start to race toward different environments that are going to be friendly toward cryptocurrency. One reason Texas is being chosen is because of its lower taxes in terms of business. And so any, any state and country that is willing to put friendly cryptocurrency taxes in place and friendly laws in place for crypto. Texas at first was not as friendly. We, we led some massive movements as a cryptocurrency community and got them to change around on that. Now they're becoming quickly more friendly and that's definitely great to see as we're seeing the governor there start to open up a little bit to it, which we like any governor, any state, if you're opening up the cryptocurrency, you will receive some favorableness from the crypto community from that. It doesn't matter who you are, definitely you should be doing that. Everyone should. If you're not, you're missing big opportunities for your state. As you also see this article coming out from, from Yahoo Finance saying, Dogecoin is the bad boy of crypto. And this is from a guy named Insane Funzi. 
he basically is writing this article and I love parts of it. I also disagree with parts of it because Dogecoin is actually both the bad boy of crypto and the good boy of crypto at the same exact time. Pretty hard to accomplish that, but it's the bad boy in the way that it goes against the grain. It goes against what is generally considered to be the smart move here or the smart move there, at least in the public perception. We know behind the scenes, it has some of the best devs in the world behind it working on it. We know behind the scenes what Elon Musk is doing, but to the outside perspective, it's definitely going against the grain a lot. And we do like that part of it. But at the same time, it's the good boy as well because the community, all of us in the Dogecoin community are especially going to be kind to people, nice to people. We will call out bad things when we see it. Being kind doesn't mean you can't say this is bad when you see something bad. You don't have to be nice to everyone all the time, especially if they don't deserve it. But it does mean that generally speaking, we help each other and we're friendly and we do good stuff. So that's something that's something that is the positive good boy side of Dogecoin as well. Final stand all day, every day coming in from Matthew. I like that. And Miles says, hey, Matt, thank you for all you do. Do you think Elon is going to go back to tweeting about Dogecoin and Bitcoin? Oh, of course. He absolutely will. He's already doing tweets about it right now. He's already doing tweets about it at the current moment in time. He's already liking tweets and doing stuff like that. And he's not going to stop anytime soon. He has no plans to do that. Otherwise, he wouldn't be so involved. By the way, Elon Musk's tweet radically changed the game for crypto. Here's what you need to know, basically talking about the impact he still has on the market. Even now, after some BTC people decided to block him and say no to Elon and no more are we going to be listening to him, he still has that same impact he did before. And he's going to cause a lot of miners to be leaving China, which is focused heavily on coal, and then moving to other countries, moving to other places. I like that. I don't think China should be where we rely on our cryptocurrency mining to come from. It would be better to have it more across the entire globe, as we're also seen Italy. They are right now raising concerns over unregulated cryptocurrency markets. Italy, what the heck are you doing? Stick to pizzas and pasta. What are you doing trying to regulate crypto to too high of a level? To some degree, we do want them to stop rug pulls and things like that. But this right here, I think is going a little bit too far. What Italy's trying to do is basically ban certain cryptocurrencies they don't like and things like that. So Italy, get your act together. Not to be too mean to Italy though, because I we we we, lo we love some of your some of your places there, Italy. Stocks making the biggest moves though after hours. Oracle, Lazy Boy, Roblox, and more. We have seen them all going down a decent amount, despite still having some good fundamentals behind them. The first first example of that is Oracle, which has gone down approximately two percent, despite having better than expected results in the fourth quarter. Anyone that dips in terms of stocks, despite having good news coming out, is likely a buy opportunity right there. So I like Oracle. Lazy Boy, a little bit less so. It has fallen some as well. Then HR Block is the other one that I pointed out from this Ford list right here that I think has definitely potential. Revenue came in at 2.33 billion, higher than the expected amount of 2.32 by just a little bit, but it is showing upward trajectory. And also on top of that, the shares dipped 2% despite the earnings being higher than expected. So another one right there that we may want to be looking at. And that comes as we're seeing Dogecoin. It has been relatively stable for the last little bit, but if you look at the longer chart of Dogecoin, you will see some interesting things. So right here, I was covering this live. I remember this very vividly. A lot of us in the community do. Right here is when Dogecoin started to do some of its biggest spikes that we've ever seen, at least back then. Percentage-wise, it still counts. We saw it going up, and then after that, people people right here were saying, Dogecoin has no chance, and I saw the comments on my videos. There, it was a joke, had no chance, had no chance. Then it goes up, we see a crazy spike. Then for a decent period of time, approximately two months, we started getting a lot of comments starting to build up. The Dogecoin is done, it's over. We'll never see a spike again. A lot of people saying, I'm selling my Dogecoin. When they did, some whales would then buy it up because it stayed relatively steady. And so some people, individuals sold, and then after that, what happened? The big Dogecoin, big kahuna spike that went all the way up to levels we had never seen before, and then continued with another level of even that spike. So even right there, people are saying, I'm done with Dogecoin, I give up. Every single time you start to hear that, you do know that that is the best time to consider going into Dogecoin if you don't own any already, or if you don't own as much as you want to own. Always, it's been consistent in the past that that's the best time. Never underestimate Dogecoin under any circumstances. I tweeted that out tonight because it is in fact true. If you're underestimating Dogecoin, then you would not be the first person and you won't be the last. People will continue to do that. I'm not selling any of mine because we know the future is bright for it. And I'm not selling any of my Bitcoin either. Thank you for the chat as well. I heard Robinhood is delisting Doge. When when do you expect Doge to reach one dollar? No, they're not. Robinhood is not going to delist Doge. That is not true. They are actually working on listing more cryptocurrencies as well. But no, they, they would never do that. But that's where who who told you that? 
Who someone someone is out there spreading misinform disinformation? Best Dogecoin channel to get all the breaking news. Thank you, Matt, coming in from Philip. I appreciate that. Dogecoin, Bitcoin, cryptocurrency. This is the place to be. If you're not here already, come subscribe with notifications on. Don't even wait another second. You're not gonna want to miss some of these big updates. Seeing them in real time can be extremely, extremely valuable. Maui Cyrus, by the way, this is an article that we're gonna have to roast right here because they are taking a joke way too seriously. What the heck are you doing? Time to pull out the roast music and get the roast on their way. You did it to yourself. You could have avoided the roast very easily had you not done this, but you had to do it and you had to warrant the roast, of course. So now I'm gonna pull the music. And by the way, we're live streaming at 12 p.m. at night and yet we still have a ton of viewers right now. So thank you for everyone coming and watching even right now. We were going to go a little bit earlier, but there ended up being some extra research that had to be done on some of the solar panels and things like that. I wanted to make sure I had all the information first before going live. So there we go. It took a little bit longer, but hey, that's okay. We'll, we'll still get a lot of viewers after it is posted from tomorrow and the day after. But look at this. Miley Cyrus isn't happy Elon Musk revealed her identity while mocking Anonymous. Oh my gosh. What did Elon do? Did he secretly reveal that, e that Miley Cyrus was a cyborg or an alien from another planet? Oh no, what happened? Well, actually, all that happened is Elon Musk just tweeted out a joke that Hannah Montana is Miley Cyrus. They, of course, hosted SNL together, so they have a little bit of a connection now. Then Miley Cyrus made a joke. Oh my gosh, Elon Musk, who I told you that in confidence, you can build a rocket, but you can't keep a dang secret. And this article now coming out, taking that extremely seriously, pretending like Elon Musk actually revealed some identity and Miley's, Miley's actually mad. I think it's funny. The people at News 18 clearly don't understand how sarcasm works. I don't know. Maybe they just don't eat like Elon. I bet that's really what it comes down to. But how can you write an article that silly and just think... I, I love it though. It's, fu it's funny. How can, how can the media sometimes get things this wrong? You have to really be super disconnected to write an article of that thing. And I thought it was going to be a joke. I thought in the actual article it was going to be something different. But no, they were legitimately criticizing Elon Musk for, for coming out and, and letting the truth be known that Miley Cyrus and Hannah Montana are the same person. Oh my gosh, how could Elon do that? How could he do that? Think about all the children that he ruined that for. Oh no, so many people. Terrible. Terrible. That's more sarcasm there for, for, for just so you just in case you're watching then News 18 is gonna write an article Oh, no, Matt Walsh called out Elon Musk. I can't believe he did that. No, no News 10 News 18 I mean that is sarcasm once again. I guess you need us to explain it to you <laughs> SpaceX ignored last-minute warnings from the FAA before December December Starship launch and to that I say good job Hey last minute warnings if you're gonna do a warning do it ahead of time Elon Musk SpaceX that are careful enough So get off their back FAA and then, of course, the drones of the FAA are going to come to my house next. I know, I know. We need to be careful. Sorry, FAA. Don't, don't come get me. I'm just an innocent YouTuber. Yeah, all that stuff. Well, we'll say it. As Elon Musk, let's see what his reply to the tweet is. Hopefully, it's something beautiful. If it's something good, then that is a positive thing. If it's not something good, then who knows what we'll say. But Elon Musk also, not that long ago, he liked a tweet talking about how Dogecoin is going to 0 0.001 in terms of transaction fees, which will change the entire game for Dogecoin forever. We've already many times touted on the show how Dogecoin's low transaction fees when compared to Ethereum and other cryptocurrencies at the top, Bitcoin included, already make it very competitive with those for transactions. Now it's getting even better, significantly so, and that's going to be in part by making more the more transactions that are validated port per minute, which I think is long overdue and not really that much long overdue because the price has gone up so fast. It takes time for these things to happen. So it's long overdue in a way, but also it's really right on time in another way because you can't really expect it to go at lightning speed. They, they're going fast, but just not that fast. Every Everybody... So search says everybody by Dogecoin right now. And I, I do like your opinion there. I'm definitely going to be buying more. Can you make a Shiba Inu channel? I may at some point talk more about it. I would like for them to be more friendly toward Dogecoin. I would love for them to really embrace Dogecoin communities. I'm going to be reaching out to some people on their team and seeing if there's ways to work together. But they really need to be reaching out and they really need to be trying to get more people on their side. And then, yes, we could definitely see that happening at some point in the future. But it's going to take time. They obviously have to earn it first. And they are capable of doing that. They are capable of doing that. A lot of people in the community seem to be pretty cool. Do you think there's going to be a pump leading up to Elon's birthday. I would definitely love to see that. I don't necessarily think we'll see anything too crazy, but we certainly could see more people buying leading up to his birthday, especially if Elon does a big announcement. But every time we expect a big announcement from Elon, what happens? He then delays it a little bit longer. So we got to be careful. We can't expect too many big announcements on specific days, even though we know we know they're coming. It's just going to take time for that. Elon Musk also now focusing a lot of his energy on Tesla and Plaid, which is somehow capable of going 
Zero to 60 in two seconds. Just insane to even think about. I mean, two seconds. That's so unbelievably fast. You think about a car like a Mustang. It's really fast. It can't go 0 to 60 in two seconds. It can't even do half of that. Most cars can't. Most fast cars cannot do 0 to 60 in two seconds. So that's pretty dang impressive. That's that's even a possibility on the table. As Elon Musk continues tweeting about Dogecoin, liking Dogecoin tweets, this is the reply though that he did. New HVAC firmware coming soon that will make it quieter. I see. So apparently there was some cabin noise that opens and closes with that goes on and off with the door closing and opening interesting so now they're working on that i guess kind of cool not that big of an update but it's something there but yeah this is the big one that elon responded to he also did laughing emojis to this he's still staying up to date with dogecoin profiles he's still i believe probably looking at my profile consistently he's looking at sheep toshi's profile consistently he's looking all across the internet at dogecoin profiles and that just shows you his level of intrigue with Dogecoin, it's high, as it should be. If it wasn't high, then what the heck would it be? It would be low, and that wouldn't be good. AMC, oh yeah, AMC, AMC is now on the next run. I saw, I see your comment right there. That is, that is definitely something we should be looking at. AMC on that next run, it did exactly as we predicted on the first run. Now, hopefully, the next run can go crazy. We know Dogecoin is likely going to be getting a lot of attention after this, but it's fun to watch while it lasts. But anyway, I'm Matt Wass. This is Faustand, and I will see you in the next video.